Hey guys, I'm Jiggles and welcome to my channel. Today I'm getting ready for work, so I thought I'd film myself doing this beautiful soft glam makeup tutorial that's perfect for any occasion. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So first things first, I'm going to be moisturising my face with this Sukin Hydrating Day Cream. It's really important to have your skin prepped properly for a flawless look but also to keep your skin healthy. Then I'm going to add some extra moisture by using a few drops of this Sukin Rose Hip Oil. This is probably my favourite part of the day, <laughs> which is covering up these panda eyes. So using this NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Orange underneath the concealer is the best way to colour correct the area and make sure that my dark circles will not seep through all day. To cover up the blemishes, I'm going to use this Rimmel Stay Matte Dual Action Concealer. Now I have tried this in a previous tutorial, but I wasn't a big fan of it then. I thought I would give it another chance, but this time trying it differently. So not blending it out first, setting it with some translucent powder and see how that goes. But unfortunately, it still didn't work as well as I needed it to. Then with my damp beauty sponge, I'm just blending out the orange concealer underneath my eyes. For foundation, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. It's a very interesting product because it dries on like powder. This foundation is really easy to work with and it would be perfect for people who have oily skin. It is buildable coverage, so just applying some extra on top of my blemishes. I did find however that it started creasing in my smile lines. For eyebrows I'm going to be using this BYS Brow Definition Kit. Now I did look into the name and it is BYS not BIS so I gotta keep reminding myself not to say that. <laughs> so with this flat angled brush I'm going to pick up the wax and mix in the brown powder just to fill in my brows. Then once filled in I'm taking a brow brush and just feathering out the front to give it a nice ombre effect. I'm going to clean up my brows with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Medium and also use this to prime my eyes. The eyeshadow palette I'm going to use today is this Mont Prefer Nudes Shadow Palette which I got from Priceline. I'm really excited to try it out. It's really cute packaging and has some really nice colours in it. So with a big flat brush I'm picking up bare to set the concealer in place. Then with a crease brush, I'm picking up natural and using that as the transition shade. Unfortunately, I didn't find this colour to be very pigmented and had to reapply about five times to start to see some sort of effect. So to darken it up, I'm grabbing a new crease brush, picking up glisten and applying that to my outer V and blending it throughout the crease. Next up is Willow, which is such a pretty colour. And applying it to the outer V, just to give a 3D effect and create more definition in the eyes. Now with a small flat brush, I'm picking up sand and applying that all over my eyelid for some sparkle sparkle. With a clean blending brush, I'm just blending out all the colours together to make sure that there are no harsh lines. And to highlight my brow bone, I'm using Bliss. For eyeliner today, I'm trying out this Maybelline Ice Studio Lasting Drama Gel Pot. And with this teeny tiny brush, dipping it into the pot and wiping off the excess product on my hand. I'm trying to keep my liner to a minimum today, so tight lining on my upper lash line. <laughs> and it can be really awkward trying to do this because your eyes just water. <laughs> You can skip this step if you want to. I just like the effect that it has. Then just running the product through my eyelashes and being super, super close to my lash line and smudging it out just a little bit because I don't want the liner to be too precise. And at the ends, just working it in an upward direction just to open up the eyes some more and to elongate them. For mascara, I'm using nothing else but my telescopic mascara <laughs> and just giving my top lashes a really good coat. 
A really good tip though with mascara, and you really have to keep this in mind, when you want to pick up more product, best bet is when you put it in, just swirl it around a few times. Never ever go in and out with the wand, otherwise you're just going to dry your mascara out. To highlight and conceal, I'm using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer <laughs> in light pale. It just highlights the face so well and conceals the dark circles. So applying that under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, a bit of my forehead and chin, and just a little bit in my cupid's bow. The best way to blend out concealer underneath your eyes is to work from the bottom up. So the majority of the product is placed where you want to hide your dark circles. If you work from the top down, you're actually pushing the product down your face and you'll have less product where you need it to be. To set the concealer, I'm using this Face of Australia translucent powder. So this will stop the concealer from creasing under the eyes and it also deflects the light. So as you can see, I have some beautiful bags. <laughs> so using this powder underneath where I've popped the concealer will actually deflect the light in this area, making my bags look less noticeable. For contour and bronzer, I'm using this Rimmel Sun Shimmer Maxi Bronzer. And with this buffering brush, I'm just picking up some color, cutting out my cheekbones, warming up my forehead, my jawline and down my neck, just to make sure that it all blends together. Contouring is optional. Some people don't like doing it and some people do like doing it. I like to do it because it adds more definition to your face, especially when there's lots of foundation on. You tend to look a bit washed out. So this is recreating shadows in certain areas to change your face shape. Then with a more precise brush I'm picking up some more and snatching my nose. And just putting a little bit under my mouth just to make them appear a little bigger. Blending out the contour with my finger. For blush I'm using Models Prefer Blush in Celebrity Crush. It's such a pretty pink colour but it's also a bit of a bastard to open. <laughs> For highlighter, I'm using Carly Bible's 14 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette. I'm absolutely obsessed <laughs> with this highlighter. I bought this online from BH Cosmetics. You can totally skip this step if you want to. So highlighting the high points of my cheeks, my nose, my inner corners, My cupid's bow and a bit of my chin. Oh, I just love this highlighter. That shine is just glorious. <laughs> Going back to the nudes palette and picking up natural and glisten and smoking that out under my lower lash line just to tie the whole look together. Just putting some mascara on my bottom lashes. To set my brows, I'm using Rimmel Brow This Well Styling Gel. I'm really sorry because it's not very clear anymore. <laughs> it's gone a bit browny because of the uh, continuous dipping into the brown powder that's already on my brows. Now onto lips. Woo! <laughs> using my NYX Lip Primer just to prime the lips to help moisturize them and stop the lipstick from feathering out and to help it last longer. Then outlining my lips with this NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Natural. Usually I would overline my lips, but because I'm going to work and I want to keep this look a little bit more natural, I'm just sticking to my natural lip line. But if you wanted to wear this and glam it up a bit, you could definitely use a bolder lip and it would still be a beautiful look. To fill in my lips, I'm using this Maybelline Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in... Nude Perfection. It's such a beautiful nude shade colour. I find it really difficult to wear lipsticks because of my piercings. If they're not ones that dry and last a long time like a matte lipstick, usually what happens is the piercings will rub them off. So that's what I found happened with this one. But I really love the colour of this and I think it would work perfectly on people without piercings. Then grabbing my Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz and setting their face.
Now onto hair, I've decided to separate these two videos and actually do one tutorial specifically on how to straighten hair. So if you'd like to learn how to straighten your hair properly, then I'll post the link up here. So you can click here to check it out and I'll also link it down below in the description box and just walk you through the basics of how to straighten your hair. And I hope that you enjoyed this everyday work makeup look and that you learnt something new. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and come over and find me on all the socials. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.